Here's a $5 word, anemocory. You might not know the term, but if you live in the Western Plains, you've probably seen examples. It's the wind-driven process of how some plants disperse their seeds. The plants, or their parts, die, break off, and then tumble along to leave a trail of potential new life. Tumbleweeds are the best known examples, but windmill grass is far more common and observable. Windmill grass forms spiky heads lined with seeds, and when mature, the heads break off to roll and shed their cargo. Some seeds fall in thick vegetation, but some also fall on bare soil. Later, runoff may accumulate and soak the tiny seeds into low areas where a tiny fraction take root and start things all over again. The dead heads of windmill grass are very light and respond to only moderate breezes. They can also be picked up and carried airborne for long distances. Anemocory. It's a nifty natural way for plants like windmill grass to repopulate the earth. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.